You already know that I'm starting to get on this train of disgust of this man, Andrew Schultz. Again, he's back <laughs> in my bad books. I, he gets on my nerves. And, you know, how he got on my nerves is it's a, it's a bit of a long one. So gird your loins, sail down. So he basically on his on his podcast, Flagrant Podcast, they, he attempted to have this conversation about um, whether or not a country that says they don't want the immigrants changing the nature of their land should be called, should be deemed racist. I felt like it was just an inappropriate way to address this conversation. He had a slither of a point, but it was lost in his very, and it doesn't help that he's got a, a moustache that makes him look like that leader that we don't like. Um, so it started with Andrew starting the conversation, recapping Tucker Carlson, if you know, a kind of right wing pundit that used to be on um, Fox News. He's got his new show and he was uh, interviewed this guy called Daryl Cooper, who's been labeled a Holocaust revisionist. And it was a podcast they were having discussion. So during the interview, it's gone, gone a bit viral. Cooper made controversial claims, including saying that, including portraying Winston Churchill as the chief villain of World War II and downplaying Hitler's role in the war. And Cooper also suggested that the Nazis were unprepared for the conflict and minimized the atrocities of the Holocaust. So that then sparked Andrew to have a little discussion with his fellow podders. And um, he was saying, okay, this guy's a historian. And basically he was saying that this guy, he's read all the books that we haven't read. So it's going to be a bit hard to debate with him about what he knows, because none of us have read those books. None of us are as knowledgeable as he is. Even if he's saying controversial things, he's basically saying that who are we to con to dict him or argue with him because we're just going to write him off and label him as anti-Semite, but actually he might have some facts and points already mm -hmm. problematic. Which is, does a country, like, does Hawaii have the ability to maintain their Hawaiian culture? And when Western culture starts to come in, or even Japanese culture, where these other cultures start to chip away at the Hawaiian identity, do they have the right to be frustrated with that? Or are they racist? when they're frustrated. Yeah, but again, you're, you're talking about a colonized place that was in, uh, like, that's where the difference is. Okay, it just is if, colonization. Like, just, but you, but, just but we're, you do cannot. a thought experiment. Just do a thought experiment. Hey, yeah, as a thought experiment, if they've never been colonized, don't worry about it. Everybody's been colonized, so that cancels out everybody. I mean, they're still colonized, like, right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is why these things are so difficult. It's really hard to to just even hypothetically discuss it. Like if Mexico got mad at a bunch of Americans moving in, I would honestly be like, eh, this is a country changes. Like Mexico has been its own country for a long time. Eh, country changes. It's not Indians moving into England where it's like, well, we have to come here because you actively took all of our jewels. They're still in your fucking palace. So I have more opportunity here. I'm coming. I think those jewels are doing anything. Uh, India like, was a jewels wealthy. Jewels are going to help two billion. I hate this Indi revisionist <laughs> history where England, India was wealthy and then yeah, now India all was, of a sudden they're yeah, broke. Yeah. What, do you, what is, how is that now <laughs> yeah. all of a sudden? Like, what are you even talking about? I mean, look at Africa. Like, they took all their resources and Africa's still a poor country, uh, continent. And I, I mean, like, th I just know that you don't have anything to substantiate that. So it's like, it, there's no way to. We're living in like a world where like there's no way to prove the trajectory would have gone completely positive. There could have been infighting. I don't, know, war if I don't know if it been completely positive, yeah. but it would have been. I said it was just completely different trajectory. I didn't say it was worse. Right, completely different trajectory. Like I guess they what, did not have control of. In that situation with Mexico, like I would totally understand if Mexico was like, "Hey, I don't want you chipping away at our culture." Like, I think that is happening a little bit. I think some Mexicans are mad at the like El Salvadorians that like, come up and like they take over like long claves or something. I was talking about Mexican buddy. He's like, yeah, like there's like, they have like immigrants that are moving through and they yeah. get annoyed by it. I don't uh, know if it's all in Mexico. I doubt it. But. And, and, and again, we're different in especially like New York because this is part of our identity. We've had these different groups of people that we fully embrace coming in here and becoming part of the fabric of what it is to be an American. In his trying to explore it and what about re and trying to find ways to discuss this intelligently, it became very like one note, one level and really weirdly annoying and frustrating and made him look a little bit racist. He has, And he got mad, like I said, to ha have these hypothetical conversations. And um, he was saying, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, so basically he's saying that European countries that want to protect their borders, is it okay to call them racist? And I just got mad because I'm like, this is not the time to have this conversation. If you, None of them were prepared for the conversation. None of the, you guys are educated. And Andrew was right in saying none of us have read all the books. So then if you, it's not, there's nothing wrong with having a discussion, but he seemed to have already picked a side. And it was that we can't necessarily call 
countries that want to protect their culture racist and he tried to give the example of what if india had people coming in or what if hawaii and then akash was like yeah well colonized countries is a different conversation than the countries that colonized and then telling people not to come there mm. how does that sound well, that's my enemy anyway andrew's my enemy it sounds crazy <laughs> Yeah, it was. It, it sounds like a, a nutty conversation. Yeah. I can imagine. I watched Andrew enough to see how he would try and navigate through this. But you can't change what took place. You have mass immigration come into these lands because you went out and are going out and destroying people's countries. Mm -hmm. So you can't have it both ways. You can't destroy somebody's country and then be like, you can't come in listen this is part of the course so other than that yes if you don't go around destroying other people's countries and you're just hanging about and then you have a wave of refugees coming you should exercise humanity mm. but i do think that within that within your culture you can say we don't want to change so much mm -hmm. i think that's fair but you as colonizers like america exactly. and the uk germany um spain France, Europe, Europe, you Germany. cannot, Portugal, you cannot be like, you can't come into my country. Yeah. Mm. Like, I think it's folly to suggest it and try and argue it. So it's a mute point. Or does he want to speak for Switzerland or something? He was trying to, he, I, I don't even know who, because it was, the conversation was from Tucker Carlson was about Germany and the Holocaust. Mm, yeah. And so what are you even talking about? Mm. And he went Europe and he tried to, at the end, be like, well, I'm not saying this, I'm not saying that. But he was sticking with the line like if you want to protect your culture it should be fine and you shouldn't be called racist it's and that's so it fucking funny and hilarious <laughs> <laughs> like, what a country, mm. sorry, sorry. i apologize that, it's it? true it is so fucking funny that he's saying these people just want to protect their culture every fucking country in the world that has suffered the, by the hands of these colonizers Colonizer. that is what they said yeah. i'm sure mm. the indigenous people of america wanted to protect their culture mm. i'm sure the black people of africa wanted to protect their culture I'm sure the fucking Aborigines of Australia wanted to protect their fucking culture. Shut your mouth. When you go and you colonise, this is what you get. Mm. Yeah? Mm. When you fuck up someone else's country, this is what you get. Mm. Shut your mouth. I hate it. I fucking hate these people. I just want them all to be quiet. Yeah. It that's my life. <laughs> Sorry. But he, he could get it in the 24 hours, didn't it? Top of the list. Be oh. Oh. Be the top of the list. Yeah, it's far with the sniper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was, it, and it so was just not ended. It just, it <laughs> frustrated me because I don't want to, because it is about him. Because he, like, Akash and Alex Media were kind of, Akash looked more perturbed by the conversation. Alex was just like, that's Alex. But, Cash but why? Be that, sorry, sorry. Go I was on. just gonna say, Cash, mm. it's it's kind of like real, you're so surprised mm. that this guy that you work with has this opinion. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? When a couple of months ago you were kikiing and throwing up <laughs> yeah. conversations and disrespecting black women, was you not? Yeah. So it's okay. Exactly, it's okay when it's not about you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When it's not about you, you can laugh. But when it's about you, you got a problem. Thing is, like, what is yeah. wrong with you? I just feel, sorry. Let me just say go on, go on, go on. that. I just hate this. I hate that Andrew is trying to position himself as like someone who can speak on these things yeah, anyway. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like not every opinion needs a mic. No. Mm. Honestly, just shut up, man. Shut Seriously. Up. And that's another thing. They were talking about America. Like America is different because they were, they were saying that America is imposing its um, land of the free um, ideal, ideals on the world. And this is, the, there was an, again, American ignorance that you lot think that, don't you know that what your country's yeah. all about? Yeah. I think so much of this rhetoric is like not grounded in history. And I think that's yes. what really annoys me. Like people start like from, I don't know, 2012 or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so frustrating. You see it all the time in like in politics, mm. in just, you know, social media. Like there is just such, there's a lack of education mm -hmm. in this country, just in the world, just generally like where people just don't have an awareness of the the pillage and like yeah. the rape of so many countries at the hands of the British Americans, like all of the other yeah colonizers. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the clip because then you'll see he he's very smart in like, I'm not trying to say, I'm just trying to say. Yeah, I'm just trying to explore. I don't think that's but, very smart. No, but, that's but, but the that's, thing. But like, that's the way and I just like, I feel like that's the thing, right? The way that um we 
uh, combat people like this is mm. by not watching the clip. Mm. Like, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This is how they get they they justify their position and what's happening mm. because they get engagement, because they get views. It's like ignore him. Like he's not relevant. Mm. Like his opinion's not relevant. What he talks about, how he talks about it, it's not rocket science. Like, do you know what I mean? That is one oh one debate. To be honest, it is. It's just the points that you might. The people that are fans of him were like, not not that we can change the world. It's just that thing of you're trying to make it sound maybe I don't know. I, I think I'm, I've got my eye on this guy. He's anyway. just giving himself like, yeah, oh, you know, I'm not a racist. It's like tell me you're 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 racist <laughs> about but yeah. exactly yeah. like basically. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It and it's virtue that. signaling. Yeah. Mm, yeah. he's that that's kind the, of fan base. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? That's, that's what yeah. it's doing, and it needs to be shut down. Yeah. No, don't watch 100%. it. Not at all. Clip of Piers Morgan the other day on his shit show, and someone was there was someone talking to him about reparations, right? And he was like, but why should we care? Why should you know this happened hundreds of years? ago why should we care so what should we go to the romans and the vikings oh. and say and, and normans and say that you know well look at what you look at what you've done to us we suffered as a result of that why should we care you know what they did in what they did in a country however many years ago doesn't matter mm. Mm, doesn't matter to you doesn't yeah matter to you, but, it's just so, <laughs> right, but it's so hilarious to me mm. how these people one minute it's all about how that country was founded millions of years ago or thousands of years ago and whose country it was thousands of years ago. And the next thing, when it's to do with them giving back, all of a sudden, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Why are we exactly. talking about that? Mm. We're here in the now. It doesn't matter what <laughs> happened 100, 100, 300, 400, 500 years ago. It's the here and the now. Mm. All yeah. dickheads, all of them. All right, that was it. Off my chest now. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Enemy. So Andrew Schultz's family. Keep in my own, you Definitely. Family. 